Hey there everyone, this is Danielle performing another Super Mario Odyssey experiment. As you can see we're in Bub Lane, uh, we haven't done anything here yet, I've just arrived. And I'm going to try to do it without walking on the sand, like in Tostarina. I think it'll be a lot easier because there's, you know, water. Uh, just like in Tostarina you do spawn on the sand, so I'm going to jump on the Odyssey to begin with. And from now on I'm going to try to avoid touching any sand. Uh, the first thing I'm going to try to do, I reckon, is go over there. Where those Goombas are. Uh, so I'm gonna try to do... Let's see, can I do a Cappy roll jump from here? Or will, it, will Cappy just home in on stuff? Yeah, easy. Okay. Okay, I get a few purple coins, but that's not super helpful. Uh, can we reach that ledge? Maybe. Maybe with a triple jump. Oh, almost. I think we can probably do that. We see better positioning and and timing and things like that. Yeah. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, so that's one. Um, we haven't touched any sand yet, so that's good. Um, hmm, let me think here. There we go. Perfect landing. Uh, just carefully make your way from rock to rock, like this. And then a long jump should be enough to get us into the water. There we go. Okay, so now we're alright, because we're not touching any sand. We're just swimming. Just swimming along. Excellent. <laughs> We can stand here because this is made of something else. That's not sand. Sand. Um, maybe it may be able to get that without touching the sand. I'm not sure. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, moons, moons, moons. There's one up there, uh, which I'll probably try to get. You can grab that uh, rocket plow without touching the sand, like this. And these platforms have grass on top, so we can stand on them, no problem. So yeah, I'm expecting this experiment to be much easier than Tost Arena, because there's so much stuff here that isn't sand. Uh, that unlocks that button. We can push it if we want, but eh, let's just keep looking for moons. I think these rocks here have sandy tops, so we shouldn't walk on them, but we don't need to, so that's okay. Over here it's all grass, so we can walk on that, no problem. There's some sand there, but we can just go around it and swim. Around this way. Make our way over here. Mm -hmm. um, getting a fish should be make this a bit easier, so I'm gonna do it without one. Yeah! That's three moons. We only need ten, so we're not going to have, have too much trouble. Uh, watch out for the for these guys. No, no, no. Don't crown pound. We are going to start taking damage shortly, so that's scary. Yeah, Mario is just starting to drown now, so we hopefully will get the bubbles quickly. There they are. 
Okay, bubbles. Uh, is that sand or stone? By the way, I feel like I probably shouldn't be walking on it, so let's see if we can get to the pipe. Hmm, without having to... I think it's stone, so it's probably okay, but let's just... Yeah, I had the step on the ground, but it was stone, so that's okay. And we can be up here without any problem. Get this flag. Get this moon. So that's four. Uh, good progress being made. I'd be remiss if I didn't try to get the secret path moon using a gushing while we're here. I did that already in the crafting challenge, of course, but you know, it's still cool. There we go, easy. Yeah. Okay, so we're halfway there. Uh, still having to walk on the sand, so that's good. Da, 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 da. Hmm, where should we go next? Maybe a better experiment would have been trying to do this without touching any water, honestly. Because I don't know how you would reach all the different areas of this kingdom without any touching any water. Especially because the gushions are made of water and that would count as touching it. Hmm. Oh well, I'm like halfway through now, so this is the experiment we're doing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I think the maze might have a sandy floor. It's hard to tell because it's 2D. I'm going to avoid it just in case. Gushing, gushing, gushing. Is that sand? It looks like stone. I think it's stone. So that's probably okay. I'm probably not going to do the boss because it's the boss in this kingdom is fought entirely in midair, which is, is kind of defeating the purpose, but you know. Yeah, no way can I get high enough to do that. And I'm on the sand. I'm just going to walk back to where I just was. That never happened. <laughs> there we go. Maybe if I use like wall kicks, I could maybe... Hmm. No, you don't gain much height from wall kicks in this game, so you can't really ascend that kind of kind of gap very well. Hmm. Yeah, no way can I get that much track from here without a gushing or something. Oh well, uh, let's see, what else can I do? Oh, my God. 
Okay, I play long jump to here. There we go. Okay, there's some sand here, so watch out for that. Jump across to the sand... sandstone? Doesn't count. It's stone, it's not sand. <laughs> Despite having sand in its name, it's not sand. Okay, I don't know if we can cross this gap. Hmm, maybe? Maybe. Sure can. Okay, there's a little... I don't know if that's like a sandy pack or just dirt, but I felt like I should avoid it just in case. Um, that is a moon, so I can't get that one if that's... Indeed not... Indeed the... You know, it's... Sand. <laughs> I can't words. Um, let me see. We can head over this way. Uh, there's a moon in there, but that looks like sand, so I'm, I can't go in there, probably. Hmm. Where else is good to go? Let's head over towards the seal over here and see if we can make our way up there without having to walk on any sand. Uh, there's sand under the water there, so I'm a little hesitant to swim in that exact spot. Uh, I should be able to go into these blocks. There we go. Checkpoint. We basically need to get a gush and to do this properly. Uh, and actually clean up this spring here. We can grab one over here though on the grass, so not a problem. There we go. <laughs> Mario, please. <laughs> we don't touch the bottom of the spring, we should be fine. Some of it's rock, but I think there's some sand down there too, so. There we go. Okay, we need three more moons. Yeah, that's all sand in the bottom there, so watch out for that. Yeah, I was thinking without touching water, but I sort of already did that in the, um, crouching run. Because I was trying to avoid swimming since it stopped you from crouching. I wasn't, like, outright, outright not touching the water at all, though, so it could have done a bit better, I guess. We can get that from over here while standing on the tiles. There we go. We can drop down here for another moon. Amongst all the um, seaweed critters, I guess. I don't know. The moon itself, that part is like stone tile, so we can stand there if we want. Although we don't have to because it's underwater. through here without using a cheap cheap. So I usually do use one here. Oh, there's sand on the floor. Let's uh, be careful about that. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! There's sand. That looks like sand, so let's not try to, let's try not to touch that. Avoid it. There we go. Good. Uh, that floor is sand, so we can't touch it. Hmm. 
Make our way over there because that part's all sandy. Uh, there's a moon underneath that dory over there, so if we chase after the dory, we should be able to get that, and then it'll be all the moons we need. And this will be a relatively short experiment because it, it's not that hard, it turns out. So yeah, that's um, one way to do it. There'd be a lot of other moons we can reach here without walking on any of the sand. Uh, let's try to go back to the Odyssey without having to touch the sand again. Since it's parked on the beach, that might be a little tricky, but I think we can pull it off. Uh, make our way over to these rocks again. We're using cap return jumps to get out of the water because that gives us a little bit more uh, mobility than we otherwise have. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, all ten moons. Uh, without having to walk on the sand. So yeah, pretty easy. Uh, probably would have been better to do it without the water. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I should do another challenge where I just grab ten more moons here. Without touching the water. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do another 10 moons here without touching the water. Um, I've already gotten some moons that I probably could have gotten without touching the water, like uh, the ones up there, for example. So that'll make this a bit trickier than it otherwise would be, which is nice. I like a little extra challenge there. So, no water, trying to get 10 moons. We can walk on sand now. The rules have changed. Uh, we can go into this pipe as well. Here, right? Yep. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, so that one would be impossible under the previous rule set because the whole floor is sand and you need to ground pound. But since we're playing by the no water rules again, it changed. <laughs> a sparkly spot here, I think it's just coins. No, it's not even coins, it's boombas. Coins. I probably shouldn't buy the purple coin thing because I did have to go in the water to get some that I already got and so if I use the purple coin thing that's it's kind of cheating a little bit. <laughs> uh, we can't get that note because that would require us to run across the water. Uh, we can do that rocket up there I'm pretty sure so let's head up and have a look. Although I think this one has fog and fog is you know it's water vapor so if this one does have fog, we probably can't do it. Yeah, it does have fog. It has lots of fog. Uh, if we can get it through without touching the fog. Maybe. Maybe. This might be doable. I think one of the moons is actually buried in the fog, so we probably can't get that one, but the other one we should be okay, I think. I can't really remember. Oh god, the fog's moving. Ah! Okay, um, I think that counts as touching it, so I'm gonna go back. over here where we were and see if I can get a bit more distance. Hmm. Looks like that platform way over there is the only one that doesn't sometimes get covered by the fog here, so... Yeah, I can't make it all the way over there. 
I don't think that's possible without touching some fog. I mean, it moves out of the way when you go close to it, but it still counts. <laughs> also, the rocket had to go through the fog to get up there, so technically we, we were doomed before we began. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we have one moon without touching any water. I won't use the warps because we did swim through a bunch of water to activate most of them. So I'll try to avoid uh, warping to circumvent that restriction. Now uh, we can go get that moon that was uh, on that little sandy spot that I wasn't sure if it was sand or not over here. You can also get the, um, this moon you can get with Goombat, so let's do that. I don't know how many Goombas you actually need. I think you might be able to get just a couple, like, to get a small number of Goombas just up the edge if you jump at the right angle or something. Uh, let's just have a look and see. Obviously, if you, get, if you get, I think it's five is the full count, then you can just, you know, stand there and it works. But I think if you jump at the right angle from over here, you can actually get up there. Uh, oh, okay, three is apparently enough. I would have thought you could see us, but okay. Let's have a look over here anyway. Um, okay, so you can super jump from this end and it does work. Uh, I'm touching water. I just realized that's water. <sighs> okay, so I could have just gone like this to grab the moon. And that would have avoided the water, so I'm going to say that didn't count, just just because I've already done it and I can't undo it at this point. Since there's obviously a way I could have done it without touching water. I just didn't realise until after I'd done it, because I am a fool. Uh, okay, I think I can just triple jump from here. I can, nice. Yeah. Okay, that seed, we probably can't get it all the way back to the planting zone, but let's have a look and see if we can. So I know you have to get through some water to do it, but maybe we can manage with some throws and stuff to get it over there? Let's have a try. See if we can manage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. That's the wrong way. <laughs> okay, so we can throw it past this one. I think the other one we can probably throw it past as well, so we should be alright. Most of the other seeds are submerged, so we can't actually get those, but this one we should be okay. Uh, I think actually we can probably just get up there. Hang on. And just jump down into the sand without having to worry about throwing. Uh, I think I touched the water there. Let's just go back to the other side and do it from there. Let's do it again and make sure I don't touch the water. Uh. Okay, there we go. There we go. Easy. There we go. Okay, so that'll be a fourth moon, but it takes a while to grow, so let's go look for some other stuff to do. Uh, there is a treasure hidden down there, but obviously we can't get in there because there's, uh, there's uh, water in the way. If we go over this direction, we can probably get closer to some of the other story moons, which will help us reach some stuff we couldn't otherwise reach. Uh, we can't actually break the seals, because we did have to swim through water to do that, and so now that the rules have changed, we still can't break the seals. Uh, we can do some of them, actually. We can do this one, uh, since that one you can do without swimming. Or you can do it with swimming, like I did earlier. 
but without sanding. <laughs> Okay, um, we still can't get this moon here. This is not the moon, this is just some Goombas. Uh, because the moon is actually a little bit underwater. It's submerged in that little pool there, which we are not allowed to go in because it's got water in it. Um, but we can make our way along here without having to touch any water, I believe. Ooh, it's starting to get tricky. There we go. Okay, so this part might be a hassle. Uh, as you can see, there's like a rather large pool of water here. It's shallow, but it's, it's still a pool of water. Oh. Okay, let's backtrack and try that again. Again, yeah, if I touch the water, I'm just gonna walk back to the platform I was on and go from there. Not gonna worry too much about you know, doing a perfect run or anything. Uh... Okay, yeah, that's easy, actually. <laughs> um, but then what? Hmm. Maybe if I go into the cork over there, I might be able to get to that bit of sand from there? I don't know. I can't catch through Gushin, because Gushins are made of water. Uh, so, that's against the rules. Oh, hello. Oh, wow, that was cool. <laughs> okay, so I'm on Hot Spring Island now. I don't know if that helps me, actually, because uh, everything here is underwater. Um, there's a seed over there, but I probably can't get it back to the garden without touching some water, so... Hmm. I can get over here without too much trouble. But, uh, crossing over here is gonna be a bit tricky because the water does encroach upon the sand in various spots. Uh, let's do the cap roll jump to... Ooh, um... Okay, I am not able to make any progress here without touching water, actually. Um, hmm... I can get back there without too much trouble, but there's clearly not enough, like, platforms there to make my way any further. Okay, I'm gonna warp back to the Odyssey, which is okay, because I made it from the Odyssey to here without having to touch any water, so obviously you can get back. Uh, since, you know, I didn't have to jump down anything, it was all pretty much level. Um, let me see... I might be able to get this one without touching the water. Maybe? Let's see. Ooh, I think I can pull it off. Yep. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> I guess that's four. Uh, this is definitely harder than the um, No Touching the Sand version, so I'm glad I'm doing both. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure there's no way to get over there. Uh, although, hang on, maybe, maybe riding in one of these doors would work. Um, the purple one moves around, so I might be able to get onto it and ride it across to other parts of the level. Maybe. <laughs> that would be quite difficult, I think. I can buy a moon, because the yellow dory is right there, and I can reach that without touching any water. Chances are this would be easier if I hadn't already, like, done ten moons here with the other challenge, because there'd be some more moons I could get, but there are now not, because I got them. <laughs> okay, opening the fountains won't help. They don't actually launch you until you do the boss, and also um, water comes out of them, so I can't, I can't use them anyway. 
Um, hmm. I'm not sure else there'd be moons. Uh, I know there's another one you can get from up here, but I think you need to use a gushin to do it, and that's not an option I have at my disposal. Let me just have a look around. Okay, so I did already do a triple jump up to here to get this moon, so... There we go. I want to see, maybe if I do like a... A roll jump around the corner, like I did in um, the Lake Kingdom. No, that's way too far. Way too far. Hmm... I am running short on ideas for moons I can get at this point. Um, and I could have only gotten one of the seal moons by doing it the other way around, like doing it this time instead of in the other challenge, which is this one up here. Uh, that one up there, which I can reach. Um, but the other three, I'm pretty sure are inaccessible. Um, let me think. I can do the hint art uh, without having to touch any water. The hint art's up here, and that would give me an extra moon. That's only 5 out of 10. Like, I think I may have overstepped my bounds with this challenge here. <laughs> hmm. Pretty sure there's nothing you can look at in this kingdom, so the binoculars don't help much. Okay, I'll do- I can do the hint art, which gets us another one moon. Um, but so that we don't lose track, I'll save that for a bit later, because I'll have to cash in all these moons to do that. That one plant will grow, which gets us an extra moon. Uh, shouldn't have done that. That doesn't count. <laughs> uh, I can buy a moon, so I will. Gotta be careful not to touch the water as you get onto the dory. There we go. Okay, so that's, uh, that's five, plus the plant, plus the hint art is seven, so I need to find three more somewhere. Hmm. I don't know, um, I'm pretty sure I can't reach the lighthouse, just because of the way it's positioned. Uh, and walk back to Hot Spring Island, and maybe I can do something from over there. Let's have a look around. Okay, so Hot Spring Island. Let's see, let's see. We can get onto its cork without too much trouble, but I don't think we really need to, so that wouldn't help too much. We couldn't actually get its moon, so we can't press this seal, but it wouldn't matter if we could, it wouldn't do much. Um, maybe? Hang on. Okay, so we can get into the cork, that's not a problem. So hang on, if I throw Cappy from here, she goes quite far. Probably can't do like a Cappy roll jump, but I might be able to carefully time the long jump to... No, I'm touching the water. That might be doable though. Maybe. It's hard to tell. be able to long jump under the cork, actually, rather than doing a cappy roll jump. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so... Maybe if I stand on the side of the cork, there's more room to get cappy in place? I don't know. Maybe. I feel like that won't work, but let's give it a try. No, that worked. Okay, I'm still touching the water, though. Because the water actually extends out quite far. I think I need to aim for this spot, where the rocket flower is. Uh, and actually, there's not that much stuff in the middle. I'm not sure there are any moons I can get there without going into some more water. So I'm not sure that actually helps us much. Well, maybe I can get to the other corks and go from there. Let's see how we go.
Okay, so I reckon I'm going into this. I want to go into this side uh, because that's you know that's where the rocket flower is. Okay, that that wasn't a proper copy roll jump. Let's get back onto the cork and do it from there. Just save some time. Yeah, um, I had Cappy too far off the edge, so instead of uh, doing a proper roll jump, I just did a cap bounce in midair and lost my cap bounce to use later. Mm, this thing clearly isn't shaped to let you do interesting jumps off of it. Bunking into the side there. Squidge over a little bit. Oh, no, I don't think I can make it. And I don't know what I would do from over here anyway. Like, I can get a life up heart, but that's about it, honestly. I probably can't. Let's see if I can reach that just experimentally. Uh, I need to put this here, about, put her about here so that she doesn't touch the water, basically. There we go. Yeah, there's no way I can reach all the way over there with the happy roll jump. Hmm. I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> um, hang on, let's walk back over to the beach house. Okay, let me think. There's that seed over near Hot Spring Island, but I don't think I can bring it back because you have to do some pretty tricky jumps to get across without touching stuff. I can't I can't get the moon in here because I wouldn't have had enough purple coins, I'm pretty sure, because I've got a bunch underwater. Oh, oh I can't get the hint art, and when that plant grows I'll get one more. So I still need three more moons from somewhere. Where though? Can't do the beach volleyball until the story's finished, and there's no way you can do that without touching any water because you have to use a gushin, and gushins are made of water. Or, you know, surrounded by water constantly in any case. Maybe not made of it. Hmm. I'm not sure what other moons there are to get that I can actually reach. Most of the sub areas in this kingdom are underwater, so. Hmm. I could get one more moon if I hadn't done the seal earlier. That would get me up to 8 out of 10, but I'm not sure there are 10. Hmm. This is much harder than Lake Kingdom. It's surprising. Like, I mean, it's later in the game, so it makes sense for it to be harder as, in terms of being a level in the game, but. You know what I mean. Okay, so, hmm. Yeah, getting over to Hot Spring Island like this is not too tricky. Let me just have a look around. Because, yeah, there's a seed over here that I can pick up, but I don't think there's any possible way to get it all the way back to where the seeds need to be planted without you know, touching something made of water, like water, for example. It's only in fact that water is indeed made of water. <laughs> I can get to this spot without too much trouble, and I can get that rocket flower. I don't think I can actually reach any other moons. Hmm. Yeah, I cleaned the hot spring island, like in like in sunshine.
Oops. Ah, this is clearly touching the water, so I can't actually do this. But let's see if what, what I could do if hypothetically I could do this. Uh, I can make my way across here. And then I'm stuck again, actually. There's not much to do from here. Yeah, most of the remaining moons are underwater. It's kind of baffling that so much of this so much of this kingdom is actually submerged and inaccessible. Um, I'm gonna have a look at that Cap Captain Toad moon. Uh, Captain Toad is up there, as you can see. So we're gonna, I'm gonna have a quick look and see if I can maybe. Gain a little bit of height in order to... Okay, I can't gain height by wall jumping in here, so that's out of the question. I have been on top of there before, but I think I had to use a gushing to get up there. Maybe that's possible. Maybe. I don't. I don't think it's possible. I don't know. It looks about. It looks kind of the same as the frog thing at the beginning, and you know that turned out to be possible. It just took me about half an hour. And I'm not sure how much getting up here will actually accomplish. I'm not sure if I can reach Captain Toad from here. Yeah, I don't think I can gain any more height. Hmm. Should I come get it from the front instead and see if that's any easier? I don't think it is, but it might be. Yeah, I don't think so. Hmm. up there. Uh, basically, yeah, you meant to use a Gushin to fly up there, but Gushins are made of water, so out of the question. Uh, let me see here. I'm not sure that there's enough moons to actually do it this way. So I have five right now. There are two more that I can, I know I can get by just leaving the kingdom or waiting around a while. So that's seven. Uh, plus the, uh, plus the, um, that one there, the story moon from that seal, can definitely be reached, but the other seals can't. Yeah, I think I did the easy experiment and now the impossible experiment. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh... there's any more moons that are accessible. Uh, if I... If I counted the fog as not water, even though that's what fog is, I would have enough moons. Just. Because there's two moons in that area, plus the one from the seal story moon up there that I... I, um... I can get this way, but I got the other way, but it still counts. Um, plus the two that I can get by leaving the kingdom. Or, you know, just adding some up. Is that right? Yeah, two there, plus, plus two, more, plus, yeah, that, that's exactly the right amount, so... Um, I don't know, I guess I can, I guess I can count the fog as, as, um, not water. Maybe. Let's have a look and see how much fog I can actually dodge. Hmm. That first part's pretty easy, then you can do... Triple jump here to make you run to this bit. Then you absolutely need a capy roll jump to go all the way over there because it's super far away. There we go. 
Then you get to this bit, which is just a bunch of burbos, and you can just block this thing in order to get rid of them. Okay, then... Then the part where there's just fog everywhere and I don't know what to do. You can actually clear the fog? So maybe if I cleared the fog like this, that would... I don't know, I mean, I'm not touching the fog. I'm using this thing to clear it, so maybe that that's okay? Question mark? Uh, okay, the fog is actually gathering around me now, so... I'm gonna keep moving. Hopefully that, that wasn't long enough to count. I can't get that moon because there's no way to clear that fog, but I can clear this fog, so... Let's see... Actually, this part's pretty easy, just because these things will continually clear the fog. You can just do that. Okay, so that's one more moon. <laughs> yeah! Apparently it's clouds, not fog, but you know, it's the same thing, it's just different heights, so... This wall is very, very tall, by the way. Alright, so I can get one moon more by doing that. Uh, that gets us to six. We get to seven by getting that plant over there. Ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, so we can get the Hintart to get one more, which gets us to eight. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do the Hintart last, just so we don't lose track of where we're up to. I'm gonna get to nine, nine moons and then go get it, basically. Um, let me think, let me think. Ooh. Ooh. This is definitely the harder of the two challenges. Um, The easiest way to get through here without touching the water is just to jump up there. Just like that. Easy baby. Uh, there was a seed here, but I already planted that one, I believe. That's that. Yeah, that's the one I already got. Oops. That's not good. Um, let's carefully make our way through here. We'll just hide us up. <laughs> It's not really the tide, I guess it's just the, like, it's just waves, really. The tide is a lot slower. Okay. Let's not take a hit this time, let's make our way over here. We can stand on the sand down here as well, but it doesn't really help us too much. I think I might have enough purple coins to actually buy the costume. Uh, just from the ones that I can access. Maybe. It's hard to tell. Also, I'm taking a lot of damage, god. Um, let's, let's head up here and see if we can get this moon without just getting hit by this thing like a, like a fool. There we go. Let's go. Okay, um... There aren't any other moons just around here at the moment. I think there's some in the moon rock, but obviously we can't open that yet. I wasn't collecting purple coins earlier, just so it was easier to tell which ones I'd gotten and whether I actually had enough or not. Because getting one more moon that way uh, would help, obviously. Um, ah, don't do that. Mario, <laughs> get out of the water. <laughs> Dry yourself off. Ow. <laughs> trying to bop that Goomba, but instead I was bopped by that Goomba. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, let me think, let me think again. The Hintart, uh, there's actually a heart in one of these, so let me see. Okay, there we go. The Hintart, uh, I think I'm gonna count the seal, the stone, stone pillar seal, I think it is, or this canyon. It's the, it's the seal above the canyon, that one. I'm gonna count that one. Just because, uh, that one 
is the only one I can access. Oh, I can actually access the hot spring one. I can't get to access the hot spring one. That's the only story mode I can access, and if I had gotten it in this run, that would help a lot. But I got it in the other run, and I think I can count it in this one too, just to balance things out a little bit. <laughs> Uh, so that gets me to, what is that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, so I need the hint art, and I need one more from somewhere. Um, I guess I could also count this one here, because I can get it, it's just that I already got it in the other run. So, if I count that one as well, then all I need is the hint art, and that takes me to 10, so... Um, I don't know if I want to count it or not. Hmm. Honestly, I'm out of other ideas, so I am going to go get the hint art, and I'm going to say that that's 10 moons without touching the water, because it is. I did get 10 moons without having to touch the water to get them. It's just that two of them I had already gotten while getting moons without touching the sand. So it still counts. Let's cash all these in. And then go back to Metro to do the hint art. I uh, will have to do a cappy roll jump to avoid using the power line. We could just warp, but you know, it's fun to do cappy roll jump, so I will. Uh, that'll power up the Odyssey. And then I'll just go back to Metro to get the remaining, remaining stuff that we need. Uh, luncheon is next, I'm pretty sure. Yep, luncheon. Actually, go back to Metro though. <laughs> Interesting quirk of this game, actually. Um, you can skip all these cutscenes always, but before you finish the story, you actually get this little bit of dialogue every time you travel between kingdoms. Not just when you go to the next kingdom, you get this every time. Um, and it's unskippable, which is an interesting decision. Um, I guess they really want you to keep moving forward until you've beaten the story, and then you can explore all you want because Peach is saved. Uh, okay, so... The hint art is just over in the like main square of town. Where you see the word keep over there, that's where you want to go. Uh, so we just gotta get over there with a good old cappy roll jump from this spot. I think I messed it up. No I didn't! Yay! <laughs> okay, and then you just ground pound here above the E. And there's a moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, so that's 10 moons in the uh, seaside sea kingdom uh, without touching water, and 10 moons in the seaside sea kingdom without touching sand. Although there was a small amount of overlap between those two categories, I still think that counts. <laughs> Okie doke. Uh... You have to walk back to the Odyssey, you can't cappy roll jump back up because it's just too much height. Um, there we go. Uh, that actually won't cash in that moon yet. Until you finish the story, moons from incorrect kingdoms don't count towards the current kingdom. Uh, which is interesting. Uh, like, you don't cash it in until you actually go back to the correct kingdom and cash it in there. Or finish the story, at which point moons from everywhere get cashed in no matter where you are. It's an interesting quirk of the game's behaviour. Uh, again, it's gonna play a little little hint movie thing. I assume the idea is just they want to teach you how to play the game, and they figure once you've done the story, you know how to play the game. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we're gonna go to luncheon. I'm not gonna do anything that is yet, yet because this video is already super long, and that's the experiment done for this uh, for this video anyway. But yeah, in the next video, we're gonna be doing a bit of an experiment in this kingdom. Uh, seeing how we can go. Uh, some things I want to try. Uh, a couple of services I don't want to touch. All that sort of thing. <laughs> so, um, you know, look forward to that. See how we go. Um, oops. <sighs> anyway, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm having a yawn because I'm sleepy. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video.